Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Patriot Living. Um, we're gonna go through my um, through my tackle box and see what we got. Um, as soon as as soon as I'm able to actually get in there and actually make this video, um, I've already went through and uh, took everything out of the out of the tackle box because it was a nasty tackle box. I had some stuff that was like, you know, that that fishy spray stuff. It was in a gel form and it like leaked all over my. Uh, Leaked all over my, my tackle box, made it stink. Things were sticking that shouldn't be sticking. I was losing I was losing bait and, and, and hooks and everything else under the sun in there because it was it was a mess. You know, if it's a mess you're, you're gonna you're gonna not have everything there that you need. So as soon as um, as soon as people are in, in here are, or as soon as we're done with everything in there, I'm gonna go ahead and um, just start putting stuff back in my tackle box. I got some new stuff from 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 Carl's Bait. Um, go to carlsbait.com. Um, they do have a bunch of uh, a bunch of stuff there that you know. I I personally go ahead and order from them um, because you know it's, it's just hard to find any kind of bait, any kind of lures, any kind of line that's worth any crap um, in like Walmart or even or even um, Jacks. You can't find it anywhere. So. Um, went ahead and I ordered some stuff from there. Got some lunker logs and stuff. Um, but I'll show you all that here in just a little bit. Um, but you know, kind of have to like, 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 you know, do my thing and be considerate of other people to go ahead and make sure that you know everybody's not on the phone or you know everybody's situated so I can go ahead and actually create the video. So. On that note, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here for a moment. But we are gonna go ahead and start in on organizing and cleaning out the tackle box. So here we go. Okay guys, so because this didn't come out earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and do it now again. But um this is what's inside Patriots tackle box. So some little jigs here. I believe, I believe these are copy jigs. A spoon. Uh, some. I want to say those are quarter quarter round um, jig hooks. Some more. And then we got some smaller ones, and even smaller ones there. Another jig hook. Another rooster tail. I want to say another jig hook here too, but some swim bait. A couple of spoons here as well. Some top water frogs, a clutch, a Guggen, a Guggen, squad, a Guggen squad clutch. This is, this is also um, Guggen squad top water frogs. Another swim bait from Walmart, and this this lure here I got from my aunt. And, uh, I got this one from her when we were at um at. Um, St. Vrain Lakes. <clears throat> this is a drop shot. Um, and then, second layer, some top water, um, some top water, um, um, lures here. <clears throat> I forgot what I called, what I called these on, on <clears throat> in the original video. Then I got a, um, uh, a spin bait. These are spin. That's a spin bait. Some Texas rig, uh, some Texas rig hooks. Some of those those lighter weights. Then I got some saucy swimmers. Um, saucy swimmers. You know, like they're kind of trailers for those. I uh, got some of those. Some snell, like four packages of snell hooks. Just a, a variety of, of smaller hooks for like smaller smaller game fish. Some trailer hooks. Some more swim baits. I've never really gotten a bite off of those. Some some yum frogs. And I still have. I'm still yet to get some of those. <clears throat> get any bites on those? Um, I've got some more swim baits here. You know, just all your basics, all your basics that you need 
for a, a decent um, fishing experience, which I've never really had one because, you know, Lake McKay doesn't really like to, you know, throw those out there. But that's what I've got. Um, but those are what I've got. You know, some, some, some salmon eggs, some nightcrawler eggs, some power bait. Um, I do have some lunker logs down here. If I can get to them. There we go, some lunker logs. Um, I've also got some cheaper ones that are like that. They're, they're the, um, they're the Gary Yamamoto ones, but they don't really do too much. Um, the rest of this stuff is in the rest of this video that I went ahead and recorded or that, that actually came through, but, and I'm not sure why my, my original video didn't actually go through, but I did find the footage and I'm not sure why. Um, reason why I cleaned it out is because <clears throat> there was some goo that I got. There was some, some, uh, some fish stuff I don't even know what you call what you would call it um like like this the, the smell um like like I don't know it was like a paste you put on your on your lure and it attracts the fish so I will talk to you in a second and continue this on the other one but this is a makeup video for what we missed out on sorry guys you know I, I've got all these snail hooks that are just kind of hanging out I'm not sure how I'm gonna how I'm gonna put these in the tackle box because you know I mean all these all these all this line is gonna be hanging out everywhere and if I go to grab one it's gonna pull like five thousand of them out all at the same time so I think I might just for now put them in one of these slots one of the long slots and then I'll figure it out later. Or not. <laughs> um, maybe I'll just leave them in the Carl's box for now. Okay, so here's some more hooks that I have. These are called trail hooks, trailer hooks with the keeper. Uh, I believe that's a, a, a maybe a, I don't even know, an eighth of an ounce weight on top of them. It doesn't say, but these are trailer hooks. I'm going to start using these here soon because why not, right? But I'm going to go ahead and put these down on the bottom here as well so that they're with the rest of the hooks. Um, now this is a cheap little Walmart swim bait. You know, I just bought it because we went to the, to the river and I was like, yeah, why not? It was like a dollar. I haven't caught anything on it. Um, I've thrown it quite a bit, but there again, you know, we were we were on gold metal water, so we did, we couldn't. Nothing would really bite on it, unless you were throwing, unless you were, you know, um, fly fishing. And I said, and we were, we had people going through that were fly fishing, catching the freaking fish that we would be casting at for hours. So, um, I'm gonna get some more weights. These are little, uh, I don't know what you want to call them. They're, I, get, they're, I guess they're like rubber, rubber, rubberized weights. You just put them, you just kind of pull on the tabs like this and put them on your line and then you, you crimp them down. Um, these are the most convenient, I love these weights. These are, these are the most awesome weights I like. Um, I'm pretty much out of those weights besides these two because I've snaked so much. <laughs> I've snaked a lot. Um, and I mean, that's, that's what's going to happen when you fish. And then we also have another spoon. Sorry, choose some black with a little spoon. And I'll throw that back up here with the rest of them. But the rest of the stuff, guys, I mean, if you look at it, it's just miscellaneous stuff. Besides these, uh, these snail hooks that I just tossed everywhere. Just miscellaneous stuff like bobbers and you know some uh, 
I need to get some more of these. These are these are swivels. But that's really about it, guys. I mean, so besides some bobbers and you know these hooks and stuff like that, which I'll go ahead and put these in the bottom of the thing too. But other than that, I mean, that's all. I, that's all I really have. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Um, but other than that, that's all I really have, guys. Um, so, like we always do, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Um, like, comment, subscribe, hit that little notification bell on the bottom. Um, go check out the merch store. Uh, help, help me out, you know, help out the channel. Um, 32, 32 subscribers, I think we lost one, but you know, that's how it goes. But you know, add me in guys, add me in. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you, Patriot out.